How's it going guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be making a Luke V2 lightsaber with a crystal reveal. Hope you enjoy. We're going to start by machining the clamp portion of the saber. Normally you would use a replica Graflex clamp for this part, but I prefer to machine mine directly into the hilt. Now that the middle section of the saber is complete, we can move on to the top half. I'm using some 36mm aluminium round stock. This is by far the most time consuming part of the entire build, simply because there's so much material to remove from such large stock. Now that all the parts are done for the top half, I can epoxy them all together. the V2, I'm using a low profile control box. This isn't accurate to the movie prop, but this is more just a personal preference. Next we move on to the pommel. I'm using this little piece of cast aluminium. I've had it sitting around the workshop for the last two to three years and never had a use for it. I thought it would be perfect for this project, provided there was no air bubbles. Luckily, there wasn't.
Next we move on to the painting process. I used a gloss black to give the entire saver a nice even coat. Now that the painting process is complete, we move on to the weathering process. This involves using a light grit of sandpaper to remove the material in a way that is accurate to the prop. On the original prop, there's a slight copper discoloration around the second ring, so I mixed up some coppered coloured paint and lightly applied it. I would then remove the material a little bit at a time, trying not to remove any of the black paint as I go. After I epoxy on this last little bit of the crystal chamber, the saver is complete. I hope you enjoyed today's build. If you enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below of something you would like to see done in future builds. Have a good one.